Hello Tips and Tricksters and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. Today's video is a much requested tutorial for this eye look here. I posted it on my Instagram in this photo and I had so many questions about it. So here I am making a tutorial for you. So I'm not going to chatter on today for once, let's just get into it. <laughs> So I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of primer on my eyelids just to make sure that my eyeshadow sticks really, really well, seeing as this is a pretty heavy eye look. Then I'm going to take a pale whitish nude shade and just pat it all over my lid, but make sure I get plenty on there. The shadow I use is a bit crappy, so it takes quite a lot of stamping to get it to stay. Then I'm going to take this mid-brown kind of taupey colour and just fill in the corner of my eye and my crease line. This is just to give a little bit of depth to my eyes. The liner is going to go over it so it's not a big deal if you leave this step out. I just like to make sure it gives a bit of definition. Then I'm going to take this teeny weeny little brush and pop the same colour just on my lower lash line on each side. Once again liner is going to be on this section but it just helps balance it out and give it definition. Then I'm going to take this chocolate brown and line my top lashes for exactly the same reason. Then I'm going to take a liquid liner and start drawing just my basic line on my top lashes. I'm not going to wing out yet, I'm just following my lash line. I like to bring that right into the corner of my eye and also down to the outer corner as well. Now unfortunately my camera didn't film this bit but I just draw a little kind of box at an angle and fill it in just to get my liner started. So basically you're aiming for the corner of your eye up towards your eyebrow and following the natural line of your lower lashes. Then I realized it did a bit short, so I'm just extending it out and also at a slight slant towards my eyebrow again. I have brought it up quite high above my crease line. Just make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then I'm just gonna connect that top section to my main lash line by creating a kind of curved swoop rather than an angle, just so when I close my eye, it all looks like one line and you don't see the little folds of my eyelid. Then I'm drawing a line into my crease line, like so. You won't be able to see this while your eye is open, but once it is closed, you're gonna have a very cool artistic effect. And I'm bringing the eyeliner down under my bottom lashes. This is all just with my liquid liner, but I tend to use what is left over to do this bottom section. Otherwise you get blobs like that one, which I will fix later with a cotton swab. If they're a bit mismatched, I'll go back in and just redraw the line along here to make sure that it meets up with my lower lashes. And there's the result. Then I'm just gonna pop on some false eyelashes. For those of you who think that I'm amazing and super quick at putting lashes on, I did cut this, just so you didn't have to watch me struggle, but it took a while. Then I'm simply going to marry my lashes to the false lashes with a bit of mascara and plenty of mascara on those bottom lashes because bottom lashes really dominated the 60s style. Here is the finished result. As you can see, when I open my eyes, it simply looks like a winged liner. Then I'm going to finish it off with a nude lip. I'm actually drawing slightly outside my lip line and past the edges of my top lip, but then following my natural lip line on the bottom. This is actually more of a 50s shape, but I just really love it and I'm going to stick with that look for this makeup look. I like to fill in my whole lip with a nude colour just because my lip is quite a dark natural colour. Then I'm going to go in with this pretty Slightly pink lip gloss, but as it fades during the day, it does go a lot more nude, as you can see once I press my lips together. And I'm just following that extension of my lip and out past the corners of my mouth with gloss. Don't forget to get the corner bits so that when you open your mouth it doesn't look funny. And here is the finished look, guys. Very glam, very bold, and I just think it's very pretty. I hope you like it. So that's the video guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. Come and follow me on my Instagram, join us in the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook community, we would love to have you and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.